President Tsai Ing-wen has arrived in New York City. She touched down at 2.49 p.m. local time for a stopover in the United States before she goes on to Taiwan's diplomatic allies in Central America, Guatemala and Belize. Now, her arrival in the United States is just that, a stopover. And that's because Taiwan and the United States do not share official diplomatic relations, which prevents Taiwan's head of state from making an official visit to the United States. But what the two countries do share are strong, unofficial ties, which allows President Tsai to land in the U.S.'s jurisdiction and attend events like these, which we're at right now, which is a banquet with overseas Taiwanese community members. I do need to remind you of the tremendous challenges that we face. And in facing these challenges, we know that we are stronger when we stand together in solidarity with fellow democracies. <laughs> Taiwan cannot be isolated, and we do not take friendship for granted. We are thankful to all those who stand with us. And we are confident that Taiwan will continue to stand tall, free, democratic, and with dignity. And there are several VIPs in attendance at this banquet, including New York Senator Yi Wen Chu, as well as uh, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy, who was describing in great detail the strong relationship Taiwan shares with the state of New Jersey. Tomorrow, President Tsai is reported to be going to the Hudson Institute to receive an award. However, none of that has been confirmed by the government. However, when it, if it happens and when it does, Taiwan Plus will be there to let you know firsthand. Eason Sun and Leslie Liao in New York City for Taiwan Plus.